So today I'm going to show you a bow training circuit which is great for beginners and this is a basic circuit to just improve your strength and your capacity and also your technique. So all you'll need for this is a lightweight band like this one I've got here and then I'll go through and show you the exercises that we're going to do and then we'll get started and put the timer on and do the circuit. So the first exercise is a side lat raise and for this you'll just get the band and you'll just stand on the band with your foot and then raise your bow arm out to the side using the band for resistance. Just like that. So you just raise your arm to the side while standing on the band. So that's the side lat raise. The second exercise is what I call a five plus four. So you simply wrap the band around your hand a little bit until it's a, a reasonable length and then you just come up to full draw and you hold for five seconds. Three, four, five. And then you come to set up and hold for four seconds. One, two, three, four. And back to full draw for five seconds. Three, four, five. And then back to set up. One, two, three, four. And that's the five plus four exercise. The third exercise is elbow rotations. So this is simply you come to full draw and you rotate your bow arm elbow. And depending on how much you can do this, just try and rotate it a little bit. And over time, you'll learn to rotate it more. So you just come to full draw and then you rotate the elbow and then come off and rotate the elbow, come off, rotate the elbow, come off. And that's the elbow rotations. Now the last one is just simply a full draw hold. So you come to full draw with your normal position and then just slowly, slowly expand a little bit and then come a tiny bit off, expand, tiny bit off. So you're not just staying in the one position, you just expand a tiny bit and come off a little bit. Just keep that motion, that movement. Before we get started, in total, we're gonna to do the four exercises. There's gonna be 30 seconds of each exercise with 20 seconds of rest between the exercises. And we're gonna do that for four sets. So that's gonna be the total circuit. And then once you're finished, drop a comment down below telling me how hard you found the exercise session. So on a scale of one to 10, if it was really, really hard maximum effort, that's a 10. If it was almost no effort at all, then that's a one. So drop that in the comments below and let me know how hard the session is so next time I can make maybe a harder session or a more easy session. So now I'm gonna start the timer and then we'll do the circuit. So side lat raises, and make sure when you're doing this that your hand and your arm is in the same position it would be when you're shooting. So don't turn your palm down, don't grab the band and turn your palm down. Have it out to the side and rest it in the loop like this. And also make sure to keep your posture and not allow your bow shoulder to raise towards the ear or anything. So just nice straight body and then side lat raises. And you should feel this in your triceps. And then rest for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four. Now when you're doing this exercise, make sure to keep your elbow straight when you rotate the arm. Don't keep the elbow bent, and then also make sure to keep your bow hand in the right position. Don't allow it to come back towards you too much.
So the next exercise is just full draw holds. So nice and controlled. Don't just stay there, just slightly expand and then back and then expand and back. And you keep good alignment all the time. Keep your bow hand as stable as you can and just keep that movement. Now back to the side lat raises. Now the five plus fours again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and make sure that your shoulder is in the right position here and that you don't let go of your fingers too. You don't want to relax your fingers and let them slip off. Keep, the, keep your hook nice. Now it's the elbow rotations again. Again, make sure to keep your arm straight when you rotate the elbow and keep your hand in the right position. Don't allow it to be pulled too far back towards you. And then the next one is just the full draw holds again. So we'll just go, go and do that. Same as before, keep all parts of your technique solid. Just slowly expand a little bit and then come back. Expand, come back. Really focus on keeping your bow arm nice and stable and just that feeling of expansion and directing the movement with your elbow. And then back to the side lat raises again. And again with these, just make sure with the lat raises that you've got your bow hand in a good position. And if you can as well, have your elbow rotation there and just keep repeating these, controlled. And you should feel the triceps and then also maybe a little bit in the deltoids being worked here. Make sure to keep your hand in the same position as you would with the bow. And then we'll move on now to the next one, which is the five plus fours. One, two, three, 
one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Then come down. And the next one again is the elbow rotations. You've probably got the hang of this by now. Make sure when you're doing these elbow rotations again, just to keep your arms straight once you've rotated your elbow. And then also make sure that your hand is in a good position and not pulled too far back towards you. Make sure when you're doing this that you're not rolling the shoulder as well. You don't want to be rolling your shoulder over like that. And then we'll move again to the full draw holds to finish. And then we've got one more set. So make sure again, just to have that expansion there, keep all other parts of your technique the same. And now as you probably start to fatigue a little bit more, pay closer attention to your bow arm side in particular. Make sure that your elbow rotation is there. Make sure that your bow arm and your bow hand position is good. And keep maintaining that. And then we'll go back through to the whole circuit again for the last time, for the last set. So side lat raises again. nice and controlled and then keep your arm in the same position as you would when you're shooting then allow your shoulder to come up too high and then make sure to keep your posture too And then on to the five plus fours again. Now really focus as this is getting to the last set, really make sure, especially when you're at the setup, that your position is good and your shoulder is not coming up or anything. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Obviously, my counting is a bit slow. <laughs> Now, let's get ready for the elbow rotations again. So last set of the elbow rotations. Make sure to really pay attention on this set. Make sure to keep the bow hand position and the bow arm as well. You don't want to roll your bow shoulder either. Make sure to just roll the elbow joint and rotate it to vertical. Now, finally, it's the full draw holds again. And then we're finished.
to make sure again, just to expand a little bit. And keep your bow arm side as well. Be really diligent, make sure that the bow arm and the elbow is all good. And keep your hook nice and tight on the string. All finished. So that's the basic session that I wanted to go through for beginners. I'm going to be putting up some more sessions as well that are more difficult. Make sure to let me know in the comments below how hard you found the session on a scale of 1 to 10. And also if you haven't already, be sure to like this video as well and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in your feed. As always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.